All right, well, praise the Lord Jesus who's given us everything we need tonight for our Cajun Redneck Surf and Turf. And the surf part of the deal is uh, the imitation crab, and I've got a complete video out there on how to make that. Uh, so we made that a couple days ago. It stores really well in the fridge. And the star of the show is the turf. We have a beautiful venison backstrap. Oh, this is going to be off it. awesome. And we brined it for 48 hours. Uh, using a combination of jalapeno brine and one tablespoon of Zatarain's crab boil in about a pint of the jalapeno brine. If you don't have the jalapeno brine, just use a pint of water and a tablespoon of salt uh, together with the tablespoon of Zatarain's. And I'll show you how I did that at the end of the video. I'll kind of flash back to uh, brining. Butter's heating up in the pan. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. If you really need to use a vegetable oil for health considerations, uh, go ahead and use olive oil or your, your favorite frying oil. Uh, but we like to use real butter, and venison does do better with animal fat. Uh, so if you don't happen to have real butter, bacon fat, beef tallow, uh, whatever your favorite animal fat is for this kind of application. All right, so the butter's heating up on medium-high heat. Let's get it on. So we're not going to add any additional salt while it's cooking. Uh, there's plenty of salt in the brine. So you got the salt and the kind of the spicy flavors coming through with both the jalapeno and the zatarans. So we're just going to add a little garlic powder and we're going to grind a little black pepper. Now one thing you want to be careful of when cooking venison is not to overcook it. And the brining will give you a little more margin for that, uh, but still, uh, venison is much, much better if you take care uh, not to overcook it. I like to say that you can always put a good piece of meat back on for a couple of minutes if it's undercooked. If it's overcooked, it's kind of hard to go in the reverse direction. So the reason I've got it at the edge of this pan, uh, this pan just has a little bow right in the middle. So the, uh, the butter likes to collect on the sides and it kind of matches the shape of the, well, the back strap is easily molded into that shape anyway. So it's been in there about two minutes. At three minutes, I'm going to flip it. All right, it's been three minutes. This is, and this is just a mix of some snow peas as well as the carrots and onions that were in with the jalapeno brine because this brand of jalapeno peppers happens to have the carrots and onions in there. So this is probably going to be a little on the spicy side. Here is a little more cooked, so we'll give that one a couple more minutes because when your wife says it's not cooked enough, this is how I like it. I mean, that's a perfect, you know, kind of medium rare, maybe on the rear side of medium rare. We're not judgmental, we just like meat. So 
Blessed are you, Yahweh our God, King of the universe, who brings forth everything, the fruit of the sea, the fruit of the land, everything. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you going to start with the surf or with the turf? Wow, this crab is still really good. About the same after a couple of days in the fridge. It really, uh, flavor wasn't changed at all. I think it's really good. Now these carrots and peas, the carrots can make it really hot. I and mean, if you've ever eaten carrots right out of the can with the jalapenos, you know they'll open your eyes. I'm kind of hoping between uh, sharing the heat with the meat and the brine and sharing the heat with the uh, peas, maybe the carrots have come down to the right level of hotness zone. And I think they have. You should try one of your carrots at least so you can... Nope, nope, nope. The peas are hot enough from the carrots. My wife had a negative experience as a little girl. She just <laughs> thought it was a carrot. And it was a carrot that had hung out with jalapenos in a pickling situation and picked up that heat. So, once bit, twice shy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the street. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Tell me to obey Hi. From 2016 to 2022, I've never asked for contributions and none of my platforms are monetized. I'm generally more favorable to giving to widows and orphans than to giving to preachers. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Jesus cares about the girls in these homes. I just completed Christian leadership training with Dr. Mark Rutland who founded Global Servants, I've reviewed their financials, and I am impressed both with their accountability and the large proportion of contributions directly supporting their girls in Ghana and Thailand. Please visit their website, globalservants.org, and pray about giving to these girls through them. Tell me, do you care to obey him?